treatment and rehab presentation by me, Buddy Collins. So first of all, types of sports injuries, common sports injuries. A dislocation. A dislocation is a common sports injury. It's where um, one of the most common um, injuries is from rugby. The reason why that is because rugby is a contact sport, which involves you clashing into other players. And that can often lead to a joint coming out of its socket, which is a dislocation. It can easily be fixed with just a slight knock back in, but it often hurts. And I would advise getting someone to do it for you. Shin splints. Shin splints is another common injury. It's an inflammation of the shins. It's where um, the shins feel like they're split in half. It's a painful experience, I would say. I've had it before, actually. And it's caused by prolonged running on a hard surface. Uh, back pain. Back pain is found in your back. It can be your upper back or lower back. It's normally caused from overstretching. You can even get it from getting tackled in the football. Just something that knocks something out of place. It could be your muscles not stretching enough. It could be just your muscles not <coughs> working hard enough and stuff like that. Um, other types of sports injuries is a concussion. A concussion occurs when you take a knock to the head, you start to feel dizzy and you get a real, really like, banging in your head. Um, a blister occurs from a misuse of equipment. Um, then your skin rubs on the equipment and causes, causes your skin to cause a blister. For example, if you have loose football boots, your skin will often rub along the football boots when you're kicking the ball and you're running, which will cause a blister and cause internal bleeding. Um, friction burns. Friction burns occurs when your skin is rubbed against the surface, which causes friction. We all know how friction works is when two forces rub against each other. And when two forces rub against each other, especially your skin and the surface, it can, be, can cause them some bleeding and can be treated with some cream. Um, first aid. First of all, you need to get your priorities straight. So if someone's injured or if you're injured, you first of all, you need to stop what you're doing so you're able to stop and be calm. Um, Resecution? Resuscitation. Resuscitation. Commonly known as CPR is a way of helping someone regain consciousness. It can often be performed on other people. Um, shock. If a patient is shocked, you need to calm them down, tell them not to panic. Shock is a, is a way, if say you get a concussion or if you get a nasty tackle in football, you can get shock. Shock um, will cause you to shut down and can often lead to like, maybe death even. Um, bleeding, if a patient is bleeding or if you're bleeding, you'll need to contain the blood. So probably put in maybe a plaster or a bandage on it. Um, unconscious casualty. If your patient is unconscious, you'll need to put them in a recovery position. Fractured. If the person has a fracture, you'll need to call an ambulance so they can get treatment because there's no point treating it with just a bandage. You'll need to get professionals to help you. Prevention of infection. If there is an open wound, you'll need to clean the wound and clean the surrounding area so that no other germs or infections can happen and cause your body to be harmed. Um, summon a qualified assistant. Ask for someone that's had first aid experience because there's no point finding someone that's had no first aid experience. It will be a really shock. It will be a shock to them. But if someone's that has had a first aid experience before, they can help you and assist you. Um, accident report form. Produce an accident report form to cover yourself and say that you can, you've done all the best you can for the patient so that no one can say anything to you. Um, common treatment. Price is an amogram of a method of treatment, um, which is protect, rest, ice, compress, elevation, and diagnosed by a professional. So protect, you need to protect the area and the wound which has been hurt. Uh, rest, you need to rest the wound or the injury so that they can heal. Um, ice, by putting ice on the injury, it will help um, delay inflammation and uh, soothe the pain. Compress, you compress the injury if there's blood leaking, it will help stop blood leaking, which is uh, not really good if you have lots of blood leaking. Elevation, you need to elevate the injury so that more blood will flow away from the injury so that it will reduce swelling. Um, then diagnosed by a professional. This is when a professional will give you treatment and advice what to do next. So
So someone like a physiotherapist or like a professional in that field of area. Next one is salt taps, another anagram of a method to treatment, which is stop, ask, look, touch, active and passive strength. So you need to stop. So once you feel injury or if someone else has got an injury, you need to stop what they're doing so they can um, not cause any more harm to them. Next, you need to ask them if they're aware of the injury or if you're aware of the injury. Tell them to calm down because it's not too serious. Then you need to look at the injury, make sure you understand what's going on. Like if, it, if you need to call an ambulance, if you need to just put a plaster or a bandage on. Unless you're going to touch the injury and the surrounding area so you get a, a rough idea of how far the injury is spread or stuff like that. Next, you need to be active. Once you, once you start moving this, once you start getting better, you need to be active so that you can regain strength and stuff like that. Um, passive strength, you also need your passive strength, which is the strength that you get from your, your inner self and help to re 